it's nice to actually say hello to you in Bulgaria, even if I can't be with you in person, and I regret that. I must say, I looked at the outcomes from the ITF Women's Conference, and I very much uh, support the messages that women belong in transport workplaces. It's our world too. There is a current wave of misogyny unleashed by authoritarian leaders, sometimes democratically elected, and the dictatorships of the world that appear to be growing. We have seen the criticism of women speaking out through the Me Too movement around violence and sexual harassment. Well, my line is very simple, that silence can never be a condition of employment. So women should feel free to speak out. We should have the processes to make sure their concerns, their complaints are dealt with and indeed where necessary, that remedy supports the victims and not actually protects the perpetrators. So on this very core issue for us in the year 2018, as we head towards the first of a two-year negotiation on a convention to eliminate violence against women and men in the world of work, we need your voices, we need your activism and we need your support. Can I say that Bulgaria at this point does not support a convention and we need your help to actually lobby the government in this important year of the Bulgarian presidency of the EU to make sure that they see the wisdom of standing up for women everywhere in terms of the equality, the opportunity that women's participation affords our economies, but first and foremost, against the immorality of perpetuating a world where violence against women is tolerated. I also want to say to you that you're at the forefront of the next revolution in the world of work. Fundamental rights are absolutely critical. We have already seen the impact of a world where women are unequal. We need to make sure that women are not treated as uh, citizens apart from our male employees. When only 44% of women are in the workforce compared to over 70% of men, then we have work to do. The ITUC is invested in the care economy. We know that it creates jobs, faster in fact than investment in infrastructure, which we also support and serves the transport industry. But when you have workers in care providing the support for women to free them to work in your sector and others of the economy and you see related services including transport but infrastructure supply chain provisions from that investment then we get a triple jobs dividend this is critical so for women the ITC message to our brothers is very clear count us in count us into jobs in the economy count us into uh, leadership everywhere and of course that means count us into our unions. We've seen growth in women's membership, we've seen growth in leadership but it's not yet large enough and we've seen growth in women's participation of course in, in key decision making bodies but we're not in equal terms yet in any one of those uh, statistics and that has to be a core for our movement to actually see the inclusion of women, the formalisation of work, the equal treatment, and of course, uh, the opportunities for leadership wherever women may seek it. On the question of the future of work, then the ITF, the ETF, the Bulgarian transport workers, you are again at the forefront. Because as we see urbanisation change the face of the future, but when you combine that with indeed the imperative of climate change and the energy shift and of course the technology that will drive increasingly automation, electric vehicles and, uh, and other innovation, then we need transport workers to be involved in designing that future. We need transport workers voices in the context of the broader movement to ensure that the future of work is one we want. The future is not in someone else's hands, it's in our hands. Our polling shows that workers are not 
overly concerned about technology, but they are deeply anxious about their jobs. There will be jobs. There will be modified tasks, of course, within the context of technology. But whether it's digitisation, whether it's uh, automation, whether it's other forms of technology or the energy shift to renewable energy, to electricity in your sector, that's driven by renewable energy, we need to make sure that the partnership that the ITUC has with the ITF is absolutely going to be the voice for designing a fair future. And finally, in this question, but on all questions, we say workers have a right to know. And I would say women have a right to know. We have a right to know what our governments are doing to prepare the future and that just transition, including the future for women, is part and parcel of the design from social dialogue. We also need to know what our employers are planning for the businesses of the future. And again, we want a seat at the table. We want to see just transition measures. We want to see women in that mix. And of course, we want all of our pension funds that invest in the companies that will be uh, indeed providing the jobs of the future. We want to see that our investment, that our pension funds is not being used against rights or the social dialogue demands or the plans that will deliver us a sustainable and a just future in the face of the technological shifts. We have a lot of work to do, but women have a lot of energy, they have a lot of commitment to the collective action that's necessary, and I know that in Bulgaria you have incredible leadership for transport workers, but for women in transport work as well. Across Europe you see leadership at the global level, you see leadership from the women in your sector. So congratulations, solidarity and best wishes.